I'm from Illinois and in Illinois and all of the Midwest we have this gas station called Casey's and if you're familiar with it you know that they have pretty good pizza you either love it or you hate it but regardless it's well known at least among Midwesterners and I was recently scrolling TikTok and I came across this influencer from Miami who was getting Wawa for dinner and having passed several Wawa's I recognized it as being the gas station slash convenience store that I had seen many times in Florida but never once considered stopping at after I saw the food that she got from there I was intrigued so I did a little looking and it turns out that Wawa is actually a legitimate place to eat here in Florida and not only that but it has a pretty cult like following so after last video's letdown on eating out which i never do i never eat out so i was really sad but i think that wawa might be better let's go get some food So fancy. I've heard a lot about their hoagies, so I feel like we have to try one. I also have all of these ready made options. And there's a lot. Select payment type. Uh, that was really fast. It took them six minutes to make my food. All of this, six minutes. Secured the goods. I'm potentially making the same mistake that I made in my previous video where I went to the beach to eat the food that I had just got and we're doing the same thing because the fight needs to be fair between these two things. We can't compare warm toasty Wawa to somewhat cold sunset grill. Not that these two things can even be compared in the first place, but we're going to do it anyways because, hey, $20 is $20. <laughs> World's best delivery driver right now. I legitimately had confidence that I was going to get a spot in here and be able to have dinner with a view but it appears that Flagler Beach is more popping at 5 o'clock 5 30 than it is wait 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 <gasps> don't take the spot don't take it don't take it do not take it let me go somebody let me go yee we got a spot we whipping it in here guys I'm so excited can we hear some commotion for this view? All right, it is time. Let's see if this food is as good as the view. I have confidence. Of course I had confidence last time too. I don't even know what I want to start with because I kind of panicked when I saw all the options because they all looked good. I knew I had to get a hoagie because they're apparently known for their hoagie rolls and I guess in 2018 they were in the number one sandwich shop. So this is what I got. It was $17.95, which I thought was a very good deal. We're gonna start, I guess we'll just start with the first thing on this, which is the Junior Steak TSTD. I think it's a cheese steak. I think that's what I clicked. All right, we're going in with the beef steak first. This is a junior roll with garlic aioli, cheddar cheese, steak, tomatoes, lettuce, and that's it. Let's try it. 
first impressions of Wawa coming up. Also, it had equally enough time to cool down. All right. It's pretty light. Shall we go for it? I'm gonna go for it. I'm not getting much cheese, but the meat's really good. Like here, look at this. I got a cheese steak. That's the amount of cheese on there. There's not very much cheese, but it's still good. I will say these rolls are fantastic and well worth the hype. Okay. Mm-hmm. I get it. I wish there was a little bit more cheese. That would definitely take it over the top, but as of right now, I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. The seasoning on the meat is really good, as is the garlic aioli. I'm just missing cheese. That's why it's getting an eight. Okay, moving on. Let's go with the side next. I should have started. Oh my goodness. Oh. We gotta do that again. Look at those things. Are you seeing these? They took garlic knots, literally. These are no like Domino's garlic bread. This is legit. We're gonna take the, I asked for two and I got three. I thought that was one really big knot. I guess there's three there instead of two. That looks so good. I think since they've cooled down, they are a little bit more dense than they would be right out of the oven, but I bet right out of the oven, these are unbeatable. They're still really good, just not quite as fluffy as I was expecting. Of course, I'm still gonna eat all of these though because they are delicious. The garlic knots are getting an 8.5. I really love the flavor, but I wish they were a little bit more fluffy, less doughy, but they're still delicious. Oh God. Last thing. I gotta clean up my fingers so I can properly open this box. I am going to give this a grand opening though because the garlic knots look so good. So here we go. Ooh, yeah, baby. Okay. That is a quesadilla. This thing cost me $6.29. Go to any restaurant and try and find a quesadilla that looks this good and it's $6.29. I bet you can't. So this is a chicken bacon ranch quesadilla. I'm on a huge chicken bacon ranch kick right now. And I did add avocado spread because I am a sucker for avocados. So here we go. Oh my goodness. We are going for this middle slice here. Holy crap. This thing is hefty. This is certainly not lacking the cheese. They took quesadilla quite literally. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm so confused. <laughs> I was just getting ready to tell you this is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that I am like as red as a lobster, this is a 10 out of 10. This is fantastic. It's falling apart in my hands because there's so much stuff in this quesadilla. But holy crap, I genuinely have not had a quesadilla this good in my life. Okay, okay, we're gonna recap. The quesadilla, absolutely phenomenal. The best quesadilla I've had. $6.29. You cannot beat that. Tons of food. And that's that's a 10. Without a doubt. The garlic knots, pretty good. A little too doughy for my taste. They look really fluffy. I think right out of the oven they should be delicious. 8.5. Those cost $3.49. And for the hoagie roll, I could take it or leave it. It was pretty good. The hoagie itself was delicious. The steak, well seasoned, pretty good. I just need more cheese. I got a cheese hoagie. Why is there no cheese? Um, that was $4.39. The last thing we have to try, this cookie. 
I am a sweets person, so I am excited about this. I had to be really careful not to break it because it's super soft and chewy just the way I like cookies. So I am excited to give this a try. It's wanting to break in my hands. Okay. Look at that. I feel like a kid again. Oh yeah. Look at how that is just bending over my fingers. Oh, okay. This is gonna be delicious. Wawa can have all my money. This is a 10. I love this cookie. It's soft, it's doughy. There's a perfect amount of M&Ms. It doesn't get any better than this cookie right here. $2. $2 for that cookie. I'm having another bite. Mmm, that's good. I would personally like to thank Wawa for restoring my faith in what $20 gets me for food because I am thoroughly impressed and I will absolutely be back because you cannot find food for this cheap that is this good made exactly how you want it. And it was ridiculously fast. Everything's touchscreen self-checkout. Yeah, go to Wawa. That's what I got to say about that. I'm still just thinking about the kid. He's sitting over there. I have no idea. Should we go talk to him? We're gonna go. Let's go see who this is. <laughs> oh, there's like five of them. <laughs> Do you want to be in the vlog? There you go, man. You asked for it. You can't screw up or shot like that. What's your name? Kristoff. Kristoff? Yeah. We're here That's for awesome. Sweet. How are you doing? Has it started? Yeah. So okay. far I've won every single uh, I've won every single match. That's awesome. Well, I just I thought it was hilarious what you did. So he's a, he's a shit disturber. <laughs> no, I love it. That's Have nice to meet you, Christophe. Have a good one. Have a good one. Good luck. Guys, that's so unlike me. I never ever go and talk to people, but I couldn't pass up that opportunity.